welcome back Soapsters and in today's kind of tutorial I'm going to talk about how to make sure that your scales are accurate and the best way of doing that is with something here um, are these little weights now this is a calibration weight set um, and you can get them on Amazon and they're cheap as chips um, I'll leave a link in the, in the description below for the one that I've got but you can get these on Amazon and the great thing with them is, is each of these weights is calibrated to be the right weight and I have checked these against my calibrated scales and they are accurate and all you do is you pop them onto your scales like that and you can see that that 100 grams is showing as 101 sorry 100 grams 0.1 on the on the scale but that 0.1 is it going to make a great difference in everything that i'm doing not particularly now if we look at the 50 gram uh, it's here and again it's going to be on there now if you're part of all of the kind of, of, of forums and stuff online you'll often hear people kind of going oh yeah well i think my scales are out and i don't know whether they're accurate and i think it might be this is the way that you can check your scales to make sure that they are relatively accurate now this is not a replacement for example if you're in the uk you must have a pair of calibrated scales that are calibrated every year by an external company and you receive a certificate that way you can make sure that the soaps you are selling with are within weight because your soaps must have a weight on them and you can therefore verify that what you're selling to a customer is in the range of weights that you are allowed but this is going down to uh, one gram we're going to pop our 0.5 or this is half a gram that's going on now if i can actually get it out of the uh, of the little box here let's see if i can um, if i can get a, another pair of tweezers maybe into there um bear me a second let's get the uh, let's get the other tweezers out now as i say these are relatively accurate because I've, I've weighed them on my calibrated scale but it's just a really nice way of checking that your scales all match up and which ones you're using and whether there is any difference in what you've been weighing what i often say to people is regardless of what um, your scales are saying if you're weighing on the scales everything together any difference in weights is not going to make a great difference to your recipe however if you do want to make sure that your scales are absolutely spot on this is the way of doing it now i've put a point two on here which is uh, a little bit too light for this scale to register and that's fair enough this is a relatively cheap scale um, but it's fairly accurate and pretty good now this you, you may have i use this one for micas if i need to get an accurate mica weight because micas are so light i need that 0.01 grams so again if we start with 100 grams this will take up to two put the 100 grams on there and you can see it's actually 0.03 grams out so that's where that 0.1 came in we're going to put the 50 on it's going to do pretty much sorry that's a 20 so it's going to do pretty much the same thing there and it's weighing it even if we go down to the lighter weights and we put things like the 200 on that should now register as a 0.2 which it does so these scales are accurate and they're all accurate with one another it's really worthwhile doing that to, to make sure that your your scales are accurate um, i think this one goes down to about 0.1 and then after that again they're a little bit flaky if you want real accuracy when you're doing this you have to spend some money on the scales you're using um, so for example my calibrated scales cost me about 60 pounds every year to get recalibrated and they were about 150 pounds to buy so in the greater scheme of things they're not hugely expensive to have calibrated scales but you must have them updated and for tutorials and things like this and, and anything that i'm not going to sell in the uk i'm quite happy to use these scales for um, but again it allows me just to make sure that the scales that are calibrated are if i do need to weigh a little bit of mica whereas my main scales will only have like a one gram sorry a 0.1 gram um configuration and i needed like half a gram i can make sure i'm getting real accuracy with these ones so it's absolutely brilliant so there we go that's how you can make sure that your scales are calibrated um and are pretty accurate again this is not foolproof uh, if you damage any of these weights you drop them and pieces nick off they're going to change weights you have to be fairly careful with them but for a home soaper who just wants to make sure their scales are fairly accurate this is a brilliant way of doing it so if you've enjoyed this video please give it a like and if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel it really helps me grow and allows me to make more videos and tutorials for all of you when you subscribe don't forget to click the bell icon if you'd like to get notified when a new video is uploaded and thanks a lot, Soapsters. I'll see you again next time.